incredible. Masses and masses of files. Holmes, these files, these cards, these reports, they're all about you. So it would seem. Your whole career is mapped out here, investigation by investigation. Look, a detailed report about your work in Whitechapel during the Ripper affair. And there, your relationship with a certain A. Lupin. And here, the details of your methods and transcriptions of your conversations with the greatest violent criminals. My God, look at the titles of the files. Fraud, deception, corruption, forgery, murder. What does it all mean? Quiet. Let me concentrate. Concentrate? This judge has the reputation of being the most honest in the kingdom, and he has built an overwhelming pile of documents as high as Big Ben about you, and you talk of concentration? To open his chest to what end? Quiet. Holmes, answer me. What is the real reason for our being here? Did you know what we were going to find before we came here? Evidently. So that is the real reason behind this break-in. You're only interested in the contents of the chest. All the rest of it was nothing more than lies and manipulation. The most important is the one in the chest, Watson. Yeah, so the judge is most likely building a case against Sherlock Holmes, because Sherlock Holmes is out of control. <laughs> Killing people, breaking into people's homes, as we're doing right now. Rampant and out of control. Alright, well, let's let's play with the safe. Oh, hey. Group the balls by color. One color per square. And there's four blue ones. Okay. There's four blue ones, so the blue ones need to end up in the middle. Oh no, this is gonna be... It's gonna be amazing, isn't it? Let's shift those over. And, um... Shift those over. Shift that over. I suppose I can just keep doing this. This is not that complicated. So I just gonna shift that over. I need all the blue bits. Wait a minute. I need all the blue bits together, don't I? Maybe I should put the blue bits together before I do anything else. Okay, let me just put the blue bits together before I do anything else. Um, actually, let me... I don't know if this is gonna help, really. Let me just put all the... Uh, so, red ones over there. Let me just put all the blue bits together. And uh, then, okay, so the blue bits are together, and the green bits, well, hmm. I guess this is where it gets complicated. No, I want to do that, I want to do that, put that across. Except now I have all the blue bits together. Let me just put the blue bits on the other side. Um... Not quite. Put those back. I, uh... Well, 
maybe I don't want all the blue bits together. Uh, nuts. Okay, do do that. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I'm one off. Uh, what to do? What to do about this? Crap. Um... I'm one off, aren't I? How do I how do I fix this? So if I take three take four of those, put four there. Hmm. Take three of those, put those there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And then greens. Okay, solved it. Yes! There, I have what I came for. Show me the file, Holmes. It is unnecessary, Watson. It's a file about you, isn't it? Is it so compromising that you don't dare show it to me? You came here to steal the research about you carried out by Judge Beckett Holmes. It was the only thing that interested you. We'll see about that later. We must put everything back in its place. No one must know that we've been here. Help me. Go and put the paddles back into their original position and I'll deal with the rest. You control Dr. Watson. I forgot how the paddles go. But that's the plan of my flat. I mean, our flat. Isn't it? Whose flat is it? Isn't uh, Sherlock Holmes just freeloading in, in Watson's house? Uh, put this back to the... Wait, Watson, we must get out of this house immediately. What? But be quick, man. It's urgent. Because of you, we have to flee like common criminals, which it seems we have now become. I only hope that the game is worth the risk. Show me the file right now. Let's find a cab as quickly as possible. We can't stay here. Why are you in such a hurry? You... Wait! Look over there. Judge Beckett. Yes, it's him. Let's go and talk to him. Or don't. It's too late. Do as you wish, Holmes. But I need to hear an explanation about what was in that armored room. I'm going. No, stay here. That's an order. Your giving orders changes nothing. I'm going to talk to Judge Beckett, and you will not stop me. Wreck. Watson. Watson. Are you all right? My God. What happened? Lucy. Oh, Lucy, poor girl. I must do something. Holmes, I need your help here. Or not. Forgive me, Watson, but I'm afraid that I must leave now. Bye. Leave? What the devil do you mean? Holmes, come back here. Holmes! <laughs> you should uh, take care of Lucy, Watson. You should take care of Lucy. Holmes, are you here? Show yourself. No one. Perhaps it is just as well. I don't know what my reaction to him would have been. How dreadful. The poor Miss Lucy hanging between life and death. Luckily, I was able to place her in good hands. But how the devil did Holmes know that a bomb was about to go off? And what's more, he seems to have taken advantage of the tragedy. No more Judge Beckett. No more compromising documents. No more proof. There is nothing at all. The package. We went in with cake. It's not cake. It's a bomb. All right. <laughs> the the package that Sherlock Holmes took into the house was a bomb, Watson. Do you get it, bro? 
And this is how my... Alright, well, we're, we're doing stuff. What are we doing? I guess we're trying to figure out which way Sherlock went. Reporter! New factors regarding Sherlock Holmes. New revelations regarding the true nature of the famous detective Sherlock Holmes have reached our editorial staff. Your humble servant, always seeking the truth, has been able to initiate contact with someone linked to the Bruce Partington plans case of several years ago. This person is none other than the brother of the unfortunate Arthur Cadogan West murdered during that terrible affair. The revelations made by this gentleman are astonishing. Desiring at all costs to realize the truth regarding his brother's death uncovered a certain implication of Sherlock Holmes in the disappearance of the submarine's plans. So that he might lay his hands upon the documents, Mr. Holmes accused the famous partner, his accomplice, of stealing the plans. He double-crossed him by making the theft appear simple in order to accuse him later. He then set a trap with the newspaper bluff, a simple small ad, for the partner did not know that Mr. Holmes and his boss were one and the same person. Arrested and found guilty alone, the accomplice died in prison shortly afterwards under suspicious circumstances, giving Holmes a secret, or taking Holmes' secret with him to the grave. These, um, these re revelations are extremely important. Mr. Holmes is not a vulgar, deceitful criminal, but well and truly one of the central figures of international violent crime, who would not hesitate to betray his homeland. Oh, Fali. How dreadful. <laughs> yes. A fountain pit. Just like the rat killers. Today, that dangerous maniac is free. And what's more, it is Holmes's fault. That inquiry at Westgate was a total failure. No, it was a total success. We let the rat killer out so that he'll find the other poisoners. And then we can chase him down. Kurtz's pipe. So, Holmes took it with him. I wonder if he would have fired at those fiends in the opium den. A few days ago, such doubts would never have crossed my mind. But today, I find myself asking if he could have killed in cold blood. Probably. Aha! Uh -huh. Toby, who knows where Holmes is? Well, maybe, maybe Toby does. Maybe we should get Toby to do his dog simulator thing again and we'll find him. The paper. Holmes used to wrap that mysterious package that he left at the judge's house just a few minutes before the explosion. <laughs> oh, Watson, 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 Watson. All right, well, let's keep looking no, around. I don't want to go to bed yet. I must wait for Holmes. No, you must not. You must deduce where Holmes went and follow him, Watson, because that's your destiny in life. To follow a maniac around. Locked. These events have shattered my nerves. I should sleep for a few hours. Or at least, I should try. Really? You want to sleep for a few hours? Okay, now that we've picked up everything. <laughs> Doctor! There you are. I was poisoned. By who? Ah, you know him very well. Such a clever man. A brilliant mind, but so evil. He has hurt so many of us. Who are you talking about? Who? So hot. Flames! The heat is unbearable! Walter, I beg you! Where is he, that devil? One day he will have to answer to a higher power! Oh, I need air! I need water! Ease my pain! Who did this to you? Ah! Ah! Watson! Is that Lucy? Lucy, you are wounded! I can't find my children, Doctor! Find them for me! But I beg you, keep them away from Mr. Holmes. Lucy, no. Why do you say that? Let me help you. You are so kind. It is too late for me, but you can still save him. 
Holmes! I knew you were in there! Holmes! Open this door immediately! I think that I would rather not. Tell me the truth, Holmes. I need to know. You have no right to keep the truth from me. Tell me! I am sorry, Watson. Open this door, or I will break it down! Do what you like. The door is not locked. Pew pew. What are you doing? No! Holmes! No, it is impossible. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> it seems quite plausible to me. <laughs> going on? Yes, right. yes just one moment, I'm coming. Alright, well, Watson's going to prison now. Dr. Watson, is Mr. Holmes here? Inspector Baines, what... Answer the question. Is he here or not? No, I do not believe so. Open the door, quickly. You're gonna have to come with me, Doctor. We have a lot of questions to ask you about your relationship with Sherlock Holmes, and also regarding your movements early yesterday evening. It's empty, Inspector. Get dressed. We're leaving in two minutes. Yes, I'm coming. I'll do all I can to help you. I would also like to find the answers to some of my own questions. Sergeant, I'd like you to stay here with some of your men and search the place from top to bottom. If there is one clue here that will lead me to him, then I want you to find it. Doctor, you must understand that I am sorry about this situation, but if, as we believe, Holmes is a murderer, I won't hesitate to arrest him. What did you say? A murderer? You heard me, Doctor. The Bishop's murderers informed us that they were following orders from Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> the next mo wait, the next morning? We don't get to... Baines and his men have ransacked the place during my interrogation at Scotland Yard. I would never have imagined that I should be put through such an ordeal. I have always fought on the side of justice, but to be interrogated for hours like a common criminal, having to proclaim my innocence over and over again. Baines is convinced that Holmes is guilty, but who can blame him? Everything seems to point to him. I had thought that the worst was behind me, but here I am. As a suspected accomplice. All I need to do is to find Holmes, and when I find him, I'll... I'll decide. I'm going to search the flat. Perhaps Baines overlooked some clues. Well, there's still bread. We can eat the bread. So we don't get to see the interrogation, which I'm a bit um, disappointed by. I believe right now I'm gonna take a break right here. When we come back, we... Uh... We stare depressingly at our ransacked apartments. I will see you in the next video.